Okay, let's catch this one. One, two, three, gotcha. Hi there everyone, your Pyral here with another vlog. So today is my Kip Community Day in Pokemon Go, so I am just out and about. Right now I'm in a place where I live called the Valley, which it's a nice place to walk around in. I'm probably gonna just step outside for a bit and do that since it's been a while since I've been here, but um yeah, my Kip Community Day Community Day is I think it's the second time this has happened with Mudkip, so um, I did participate in the last Mudkip Community Day because Swampert is my favorite Pokemon, and I caught quite a few Mudkip, a few shiny ones too, which is nice, but um, the one thing I wanted was a, uh, a Mudkip with max IVs across all of its stats, and I never found one, so hopefully this time around I will do that. I'm gonna go walk around here for a little bit, and then I think later on I might just head on over to downtown because I'm probably gonna get a little bit more lucky there, but yeah, trying to get a Max IV Mudkip. I think the Pokemon Go community calls it like, a Pokemon with Max IVs Hundo, like 100% with its stats, and then they call a Shiny 100 a Shundo. I don't really... I mean, I kind of understand where they're coming from with the terminology, but it's not terminology that I typically use, but, um, yeah. Oh, there's another Mudkip around here. I found one shiny Mudkip so far, but that's not really a concern for me, because I have quite a few from the last Community Day, so... I just want one with perfect stats. I don't want a shiny one with perfect stats, because I don't really like how a shiny Mudkip looks, or any Pokemon in its uh, evolutionary line as a shiny. Well, I, I prefer the the regular version over Shiny for the Mudkip family, but oh well. Fitting that I find a Shiny Mudkip towards the pond, which is neat. Also, it's kind of windy. I don't know if I can be heard, and I forgot to bring my windscreen, but oh well. So I'm downtown. Sort of. Downtown is in that general direction. It's a little bit of a walk, but... I don't know. It's also windy outside, so, uh, not sure what I'm gonna be doing, but, uh, downtown is a good spot to play Pokemon Go in, just because there's a lot of, uh, gyms, a lot of Pokestops, and all that stuff, so, a lot of Pokemon tend to show up, but, um, this, this spot that I'm in, King Park, King's Park, I don't really know, uh, it's the only place near downtown with free parking, but, at this point, I'm not even sure if I want to go downtown, because by the time I get to a good spot downtown, I don't know, it's probably about a 15-minute walk, and then it'll be... It's 4 o'clock right now. So, I'll be just chilling around downtown for like 45 minutes or so, and then I'll just make the walk back, but it's cold. It's really cold right now because it's windy. I'm near the water. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I might just chill here because Kings Park is also a decent spot for Pokemon to show up in just because there is a few Pokestops and a gym here. So. I might just do that. Yeah. It's a shame it's like decently cold out right now. Otherwise, I'd be out a little bit longer. But. Oh well. So, community days? Community community. I don't know why that's such a hard word for me to say really fast, but uh, community day is now over and unfortunately I didn't get a perfect IV mud kit, which is a shame because this was my second chance at that, I guess, but maybe at some point I'll be able to like get one through trading because I, um, I think that's something that can happen if you trade uh, Pokemon with people, their stats get recalculated, and lucky Pokemon is a thing, and they have a higher chance of having max IV. I don't know the exact mechanics, but hopefully that's a thing that can happen. But, um, yeah. I did catch quite a few Mudkip, though. I had to release quite a bit because I'm almost out of storage for um, the amount of Pokemon I could have in Pokemon Go. But I think in total I caught like 7 or 8 shiny Mudkip. I don't know how many I caught 
in the last Mudkip Community Day, but, uh, I released quite a few of the shiny Mudkip that I got because I just don't need that many. And when I have such limited space with how many Pokemon I can carry, it's just best to release what I don't need. But, um, yeah, it was fun just being able to go outside and just walk around in various places, but it was pretty cold because of the wind, so maybe, maybe like during the summer, I'll do that more often because it'll be warmer, but oh well, it was still a, still a fun thing to do. I saw what looked like quite a few people playing Pokemon Go when I was um, just parked at uh, King's Park in um, the downtown area. But I can't really be too sure. I'm not just going to go out there and be like, Hey, are you, um, are you playing Pokemon Go too? Because I am. But, yeah. And my phone didn't die. Which is kind of surprising because uh, the battery, it can last the whole day. But if I'm going to be using Pokemon Go for a good chunk of time, that will eat through the battery. So I'm surprised my phone was able to live through that. But, oh well. Anyways, um, I am just going to quickly get some editing done. I'm feeling really, really tired right now, which is nice because it's only, um, is that 9.30? Yeah, it's 9.30 right now, so I could try to go to bed earlier than I have been lately, which would be ideal because I've been going to bed kind of late. Anyways, um, I'm just going to end it off here. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and... See you next time for another vlog. Later.